If there's anything I've learned over the years buying and selling stuff online, and I've done quite a bit of that actually back into, oh gosh, back when I was in middle school, I was flipping cell phones. So every week I had a new cell phone and my friends just thought that was the coolest thing ever. I just love playing with the new cell phones. Uh, it, it's that no two words have become more misused as of late than high end. It is marketing jargon at best at this point and should never be taken at face value because at the end of the day, it's a statement of opinion, one that cannot be proven or disproven in the court of law and that's why it is just thrown around like no tomorrow. One that sellers will stretch the heck out of in order to justify a high asking price. I've seen it once, I've seen it twice, I've seen it dozens of times. We're gonna talk more about this Oh, and don't worry, I've got plenty of examples. Stay with me. This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a sleek, light, and compact solution for buggy, unorganized messes. Fellas, be honest, does your wallet look anything like this right here? Ridge Wallets hold up to 12 cards plus room for cash. You can choose between over 30 styles and enjoy a durable build, backed by a lifetime warranty and peace of mind thanks to RFID blocking tech baked in. My favorite designs are these two right here, the carbon fiber model and the forged carbon model. This one's especially cool, and you can find both via the link below. Just visit ridge.com forward slash GS and use code GS for 10% off with free worldwide shipping and returns. That's ridge.com forward slash GS and use code GS. Swing on over to eBay and type in the phrase high-end PC and see what you find. You'd expect to see some beefy Ryzen CPUs mixed in there, maybe some Turing or Ampere graphics cards in these builds, maybe some RDNA, or if you're lucky, RDNA 2 uh, graphics cards in these builds. But more often than not, you'll find that the listings including the phrase high-end aren't, in fact, high-end. Consider this posting, an $800 OBO listing whose title reads, custom-built high-end gaming PC. And by just reading that alone, you're probably, you know, you've probably got an impression of what this system packs for the price. Got it? Okay, just, just picture what you would expect to see in a high-end system. Ballpark it. Now, let's actually check out the spec list. <laughs> oh my god. Ryzen 3 3100. Yeah. GTX 1650. Yeah. Hardly high-end. But apparently it can run AAA titles at 80 plus FPS and 1440p. Uh, yeah, maybe 1440p low. Look, there's nothing wrong with this combination of hardware. It'll make for a great entry-level gaming machine, but don't pretend it's something that it's not. Now here's another high-end steaming and editing PC. Steam, steaming, I think he meant streaming, but we'll roll with it. The list price is 350 bucks, which should tell you right away that this is probably not high-end, but let's give it a shot. Ryzen 5 1600, I mean, all right. And GT710. Yeah, sorry. That's not gonna happen. I mean, a 1600 is okay, but a GT710 falls flat on its frickin' face. You basically had this install because otherwise you wouldn't get a picture, right? <laughs> 1600s don't have IGPs. So don't trust this crap. I mean, it may seem like a good deal on the surface and 350 bucks for a, a, a gaming PC is not really a lot, but this isn't a gaming PC. Not that he's saying that it is in the title, but even for, streaming, assuming that's what he meant, and, and editing, I mean, I'm assuming you're streaming games, uh, GT710 ain't gonna cut it. The seller should never have labeled this high-end. You know it, I know it, he knows it, but he'll never admit it in court, and that's why the phrase is so abused in this industry. And then, uh, yeah, then you get to take things up a bit. So a $2,400 listing here uses the phrase high-end at the very beginning of the title and then proceeds to only include a 10th gen Intel Core i7 with no discrete graphics card at all, right? But it's high-end because he says it is and uses a fancy case. He also says this is brand new, which it's not by definition, and we have a video discussing that as well, but it, it doesn't just stop with eBay, this is all over eBay. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to find a few of these. They're actually, the very first one I showed you was the first one that popped up on eBay when I typed in the phrase. But it also extends into other buying and selling platforms like Facebook Marketplace, which has become pretty popular as of late for offloading pretty uh, overpriced systems. Every now and then you come across one of these guys here who cannot cable manage to save his life. I think that's fairly evident in this first picture here, Jesus. Or even worse, maybe he just doesn't care about it at all and um, chooses to post rats and s like these and ask double or even triple what he should for a PC of this caliber. This high-end gaming PC, it sports a Ryzen 5 2600 right off the bat price doesn't justify it. I don't care if there's a 3080 in here, it just doesn't make any sense. And an RX 580 
It's an 8GIG 580, but that does nothing to <laughs> remedy the, the asking price in my mind. But it's a combination he says is very nice for the money and will be upgradable for years to come. Yeah, does anyone else besides him think that $1,900 is a fair starting price for a system with these specifications? Or am I just going crazy? Maybe I'm going crazy. Since when did using the phrase high end suddenly become popular for sellers attempting to overvalue their hardware? And, 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 at least overvalue, if not just straight up try to deceive people into spending way more than they should. Tech doesn't magically appreciate over time, folks. I don't know why that's news to some people, but it is. Uh, if anything, your specs become obsolete year after year. It's the nature of tech to outdate itself. This dude can't even put his RAM into the correct slots. Right, and we're, we're supposed to take him at his word about this being high end, right? He sees fit to ask double what he should, if not triple for what is not inherently high end at all. But I have no doubt someone will buy this. Wouldn't be surprised, probably pretty close to his asking price too, which is, which is awful. Now look, there is an argument to be had in favor of those who say that gullible buyers deserve what they buy. If they didn't bother doing the research, that's their fault, and I get it. A seller's job is to maximize profit, and the buyer's job is to minimize expense. So you have to find that middle ground. That's why bargaining is, in a simple sense, healthy. But when the seller stoops so low as to intentionally mislead potential buyers with phrases like these, we have a problem. I have a problem with this. Anyone who knows tech knows that this statement is freaking bogus. And anyone who knows tech knows what high-end actually is, and that's why I've decided to make this quick little video. You may be shopping for a pre-built used gaming PC for a friend or family member this season, and you may be tempted by these words. It just, it just might happen. And if it wouldn't happen to you, it's probably bound to happen to someone else. We don't know, we, we all don't know the exact same amount of information about a particular topic, okay, just because I know of something doesn't mean that everyone else knows something and vice versa, right? It's uh, one of those things that's difficult for people to comprehend once they do learn something. Oh, how do you not know that yet? Well, okay, maybe because they didn't take the 10 seconds out of their day to read the same Wikipedia article you did, okay? Maybe they read some other Wikipedia article. Maybe they just didn't read it all because there are important things going on, who knows? But this just the, you know, the kind of superiority complex. I think it's, it's one of those things that um, gives PCMR a bad look. We gotta be careful about assuming that everyone knows what we know just because we happen to read the same post in a forum or the same article by our favorite website. But you should not, you should not at all fall for these words. Do not fall for them. Do not indulge these people asking way more than they should, just like the scalpers. They're deceptive at best, in this context at least. Uh, don't waste your money, don't take a seller at his or her word, do your due diligence, and never trust these words. What more proof do you need? That's all for this one. Consider leaving a like and subscribing. Share this one with a friend who needs it and stay tuned for the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for learning with me.